Aha, Asante sana Kasmol. Uh, the social justice centers are actually open. They are community centers. They are a space for community. Like here in Madari Social Justice Center, every Saturday at 2 p.m. we have community meetings. Members of the Madari community are welcomed to attend that meeting and raise any issues, any community issues that uh, need our urgent attention. Recently, the community issues we've been dealing with are the issues of evictions. You are aware that President, uh, the going president, in his madness, came and demolished uh, our houses as a response to flood mitigation, and our people have been sleeping outside. Uh, it's still very cold. We're still landless. So that has been an agenda that we've been discussing extensively. The other agenda has been the agenda on extrajudicial, uh, extrajudicial killings and police harassment and brutality, which has intensified since Maandamano. And I'm learning that uh, not just now in Madare, but also uh, in Kayole as well. And uh, as we seek to liberate the nation, uh, uh, the country at the national level, we also need to figure out how Ianze hapa home. Kuna bishti angwa lukona nambia ruto must go ni lazima kwanza ianze kwa keja. Ule ruto wana kwa press as an individual. Ruto must go. So sisi kama community tuna opressiwa sana na makarao. And that is our genesis of ruto must go. We have to sweep everything clean. But then also we have the understanding that no actual reforms can work in this uh, neoliberal system. Kwa sababu ruto ni representative wa imperialist. So how is the atomic decision peke yake kama Ruto? Lazima agiuke ulize, megwa itma nunaanaje istori, tunaprove ama tunakata. This is a track in Chukawa you are a representative with you. We want absolute sovereignty as the people of Kenya, because we are a sovereign state. Atutambui, au kina megwa itma na imperialist. We want to be able to run our country in a way that benefits the majority of the Kenyan people and advances our interests uh, and brings social justice to to the Kenyan people. So you are free to join social justice centers across the country. Each justice center has a specific meeting day for community. I'd suggest you start there and then eventually you'll join a campaign which you're passionate about. For example, here, I'm passionate about environmental activism and I'm running the ecological justice campaign where we have youth groups coming together to discuss how we can green madare, plant trees, plant memorial trees, and also just have a space where we can discuss things like the constitution and what's going on in the country. So yes, watch on the Karibishwa, who join justice centers. Um, na kuelewa wa 13 reasons why Ruto must go, na our charter ya kwanini, tunakata uungozi mbaya wa Ruto, kwanini ni lazima to birth new republic, ya social justice. Kwanini ni lazima to kwena new ways of doing politics, it must not be business as usual. Thank you very much. Uh, at the top of the hour, at 9 p.m., we will have a poetic piece by one very insightful gentleman who's been doing such a great job in terms of civic education, who is my brother from Nakuru, Mr. Willie Oeba, who has given the governor of Nakuru sleepless nights. He continues to ensure that uh, she cannot loot in peace, and I encourage all Kenyans to ensure that your leaders uh, do not do that. Do not do that in peace. But as we continue, I'd like to give two minutes. Thank you very much, Comrade Wanjira. I'd like to give two minutes to Akili Ndegwanjiru. Uh, your uh, advocate Ndegwanjiru, your two minutes start now. Uh, thank you, comrades. Um, endorsing each and every crowd that has been listed. And the grounds are many than what we have. But all I can say is that Ruto must go because he does not deserve to be a president of this country. He does not deserve to, read, uh, to lead a, a citizenry like this of ours. He does not deserve to lead this country. He does not deserve to represent us in the Committee of Nations. One reason that Ruto must go is that he has exhibited incompetence of the highest order he has exhibited blatant violation of the constitution he must go because he has never ever sworn to defend this constitution i doubt whether he actually knows and understands the content of this constitution that is why ruto must go and we are saying he must not go in 2027 he must go now any day that or any day that Ruto continues to hold the office that he proposed to be holding amounts or it's tantamount to an insult to our intellect. 
it's an insult to our patriotism is an insult to our, our our ability to be kenyan it's embarrassing that we are associated with him it's embarrassing that he purports to represent us and we are saying we must keep this fire burning because the moment we put off the candle the moment we put off the fire ruto thinks that he has won we are saying that whatever he has done in this country as as being exposed is is mutilating the future our future and even the future of our children in what we call intra and uh, intra and extra um 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 it um is 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 basically mutilating our future we must keep on asking ourselves if our generation does not take up the mantle to make ruto go what will happen to my child what will happen to my son who will go to speak for him so in my view if i am told to walk tomorrow i walk if i am told to run tomorrow i'm going to run if i'm told to shout from the rooftop i am going to shout until the deaf hear that ruto has no space in this country i am one of the biggest proponent of the doctrine of constitutionalism but we cannot advocate for constitutionalism when you have a president who has never read this constitution remember in 2207 2010 ruto led the no campaign He has a lot of contempt for this constitution and that is why he never supported it. So we must rise up and claim our rightful place in God's kingdom. We must continue to speak loudly for anybody to hear that Ruto is a puppet for the West and we cannot afford to sell our sovereignty to Mr. William Ruto. We cannot afford to watch him sell our sovereignty. So I have so many reasons that makes me believe that time for him to go is ripe and that we must march and march for those people who cannot speak speak for the voiceless shout for those who cannot speak we must walk for those who cannot walk we must tell ruto that he shall not watch as we ruin our future so yes i endorse the 13 thematic areas that makes us believe that william ruto must go but most importantly is the one of the sovereignty that is a puppet for the west we must tell him that we have noble men and noble women in this country who are capable of leading thank you thank you very much wakili asante sana for your passion